From Shovelware Studios Hollywood, it's your new favorite show. Welcome to Shovelware's Brain Game. Here's your host, the Dancing Banana. Is this what he's up to these days? Memorable events. The Confederate States of America was a group of states that seceded from the United States over a dispute primarily about wanting to maintain slavery. On April 12, 1861, those nutjobs waged a civil war against the United States of America that they ultimately lost, and 3.9 million enslaved people were freed as a result. How long did their little temper tantrum last? Eyes on the prizes. <laughs> this ancient Moai head. Straight from Easter Island is an ancient statue! <laughs> My foot! A certain company manufactures do-it-yourself obby kits, consisting of a number of lava bars and lava checkers, for anyone to place down and make their own obbies. I even made my own obby with them, but you should play it! Anyway, what is the name of this company? Science rules. <laughs> This brand new VHS player! Crafted by a secret brotherhood of artisans who refuse to give up the videotape format, this sleek new VHS player features all the modern quality of life features you expect. Play button, record button, even a rewind button. It even has a failsafe for if it starts to eat your tape. The instant it recognizes a tape is being eaten, it incinerates the entire thing! Bam! No more tape eating! Ha <laughs> ha! Isn't that great? What is the freezing point of water? I'm trying to freeze some right now, and it's just, you know, normal cold water, which is fine, but it's not what I'm looking for. Help me out, would you? We're friends, right? I consider us friends anyway. Hey, don't give me the cold shoulder.
Flags of the world. All these normal questions have me pretty bored. You know who isn't bored but is a bored? Here with our special guest question, it's Bordy the Smart Board. Which camera am I looking at again? Oh, hey, it's me, Bordy. Question time. Take a look at this flag. Which country does it belong to? That's right! my duties. Bye for now. <laughs> Puzzling puzzlers. <laughs> There's an apartment building downtown with four floors. The higher the floor, the more people live there. Which floor does the elevator go to most often? I don't like that. I swear, getting my paycheck every week is a nightmare. Well, it's not hard to get, per se, even if it's not enough to live on. Hint, hint. But it's like I'm outright afraid of money or something. I get seriously spooked whenever I see the number next to the little dollar sign. What would you call being afraid of wealth? Artistic integrity. The Japanese art of paper folding is popular all around the world. Paper cranes, paper planes, paper unicorns, you name it. Naturally, being from Japan, this art form has a Japanese name. What is it? Puzzling Puzzlers We can't believe they're letting us use his likeness. It's Forty the Smart Board! My flight leaves in an hour, but here I am! This set of lights has four openings and four exits! You need to pour water in one of the openings so it reaches the exit with the bucket beneath it! The water will only flow downward with gravity and will not go upward through any pipes! Which opening do you pour the water through?
Based test. We know you love them. Here's forty dollars smart board. Extra for this. Here's another question. Take a look at this. Associated with Southeast Asian cuisine, this thorny fruit is known for its divisive odor. Some people absolutely love it, while others have compared it to raw sewage, rotten onions, or even skunk spray. What is the name of this fruit that so many people have opinions on? Trains, planes, and automobiles. Car battery! That's right, we're gonna mill mill this bit for all it's worth. Say, before the use of batteries and automotives was widespread, how did someone go about starting a car engine?
The power of music! What is tempo? Math Zone What is thirty six plus four? Correct. This cool rock I found outside the studio. I mean, these prizes can all be winners, but hey, it could be your cool rock. Here's our Shovelware's Brain Game Grand Champion! That's a wrap for this episode. Tune in next time for more of the same. I'd like to see that Thomas Pepper over at Google Games put on half a show as good as this. This episode of Shovelware's Brain Game is brought to you by Smart Technologies. Like, actually, we can't believe it either, but we're pretty hyped about it. <laughs> <laughs>